Hello everyone, welcome to Data Trek. Today we are going to devise a mechanism that will help us avoid manual work of searching uh, for the files in cloud object storages like S3. So in this video we will learn how to architect and we will develop a small program to download files of our choice from S3 bucket and we will make this uh, function reusable. So our end goal here is to create a function that access the file name which we already know exists in our AWS account but not sure about the bucket which it resides in. So let's get started and uh, let's figure out how we can do that. So first thing we need is the Boto3. Boto3 is a library that helps us connect to AWS Pythonically. So let's install Boto3 in our Colab notebook. <laughs> Uh, it won't take much time. Yes, it's installed. So now with Boto3 in place, let's initialize the session to connect to AWS S3. So to do that, I'm going to use a resource uh, method from Boto3 client. And for that, we have to pass the resource name. Here we'll be using S3, but if you want to connect to any other AWS services like EC2, EMR, or other services, you can specify the name here. So we need AWS access key and AWS uh, secret. So let's generate one. For that, we need to go to IAM console of AWS. And we need to create a user here. So let's go to users and add a an user. So let's call it download client. All right, click on next. Let's attach policy directly. So I'm just going to give this administrator access for the sake of simplicity here. But if you want to restrict the access, you can simply use S3. S3 accesses that restricts, you can use only S3 read only or S3 full access. So now with the access in place, click on next. Or oh, we can add tags if we wish to add, but I'll leave it for now. Okay, let's create the user. All right, a user is created now. Let's go to the user and create the security credentials token for now. So I'm not going to set MFA for now. I'll just go to the access keys option in the user page. You have to go to security credentials. And here you can click on create access key. So we are going to access through CLI. So I'm going to use CLI. So we can ignore this warning for now and check this uh, privacy policy and click on next. So we need the description to get the access key. Let's say we'll create, we need this to download S3 files from our bucket. This will suffice for now. Let me create the access key. Awesome. So we have access key and the secret key. Let's paste that here. I'm going to delete this uh, user anyways, post this session. So, yeah. All right. Let's initialize the session now. Porto 3 is not defined. Sorry. I'm not in Porto 3. Right, so our session is defined. So let's uh, find what buckets we have in our uh, S3. So S3, this S3 resource session have buckets dot all method which gives us all the bucket buckets. So we can loop through this and we'll get the bucket names. So now I have these four buckets in my S3. So I'm going to use the bucket name and I'll see what are the files that resides inside this bucket. So again, uh, I'm going to put this bucket name into one uh, variable and I'm going to loop over that variable. We have bucket objects all. Objects will give us the name of all the objects that present inside the bucket. So we call this and we'll get to see what are the files that are present inside all four buckets. So these are the files that I have in the buckets. 
so yeah to download these files we just need to pass the s3 session and the bucket name and the bucket will have a download file method inside this method we have to pass the file name that we want to download and we have to give the destination path along with the file name that where it should be downloaded so if we call this right so now the file is downloaded let me refresh the temporary storage here in the collab we can see the file is downloaded all right this says it's too last to display let's ignore that for now so as we have this uh, entire thing here in pieces let's put all of it together into one um, method python method and let's call it get file and this uh, method will accept the file name this will be the name of our choice which we want to pass so here we are not going to pass any bucket names or file names inside the logic we will just pass the file name here and our code will do the work for us so here again i'm using the session initialization i let's use the new session name here right and the secret Yeah, we have the key and the secret clause set so let's uh, put all the logic that we have witnessed above into this bundle so i'm not doing anything out of the box here i'm looping everything inside uh, one another so i'm looping for the buckets and once i get the bucket name i'm looping for the objects inside each bucket and with the uh, object name i'm getting the name of the object and if the name matches the name that we provide then uh, we will call the download method and this will download the file so it's pretty straightforward so let me uh, call this so ptl json is the file that we want to download and if we give it a minute yeah it says downloaded ptl json as requested let me refresh yeah we have the download json file here let's try with different file for testing purpose let's see if we can download this file with a single call it should work right yeah awesome i did work cool yes i hope this was useful and uh, thank you for sticking around i can't wait to connect with you in the comments if you have any queries, feel free to reach out to me on my LinkedIn. So this is my LinkedIn profile. You can reach out to me directly and I'll be happy to help you guys. Please do like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you found this useful. Thank you again.